What have the Iranians said about the uh, drone, the drone incident so far? Uh, well, they claim that they shot down a U.S. drone. They they said it's a global hawk drone that, that, that that's manufactured by Northrop Grumman. We we don't know obviously precisely who the manufacturer is or what type of drone exactly. They said it's a surveillance spying drone, and they shot it in Iranian airspace close to Kuh Mubarak, which is on Iran's southern coast. It's on the Mokran coast, which actually is very close to the Strait of Hormuz. And it's divided by that waterway. Um, it's divided by that waterway from Fujairah reports in the UAE. So it's in a very, very tense area of the Persian Gulf that, that the Iranians claim that they shot down this drone. And so far, that's, that's what they said. We've had the IRGC's top commander confirm that this happened, and, and he said it was shot down bravely by IRGC forces. Okay, and Golnar, what does this mean then? You describe very clearly there the strategic importance of this area or the, 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 the flashpoint that this area could become because of what is so proximate to it. So what does this mean for tensions in and around the Strait of Hormuz then? Well, obviously, we've seen oil prices rise slightly this morning based partly on a, on a substantial part on this. And this is just going to... Um, extend tensions even further, it's going to definitely escalate what is already an extremely volatile, uh, very strategic area. Um, and um, we have to wait and see how the, America, how the United States is going to respond. And usually in these situations, what often happens is that the Iranians release some kind of video footage of the actual drone. They've done this in the past. They've taken drones that they've claimed are US or even Israeli, and they've claimed to have conducted reverse engineering on them. So we have to wait to see if there's any more solid evidence of this US drone. Zainab, what do we know from the US side so far? Uh, so far, we have seen reports saying that the U.S. Uh, admitting that the the drone has been shot, and that but they are contradicting uh, the statement by the Iranians. Are saying this was over international uh, airspace. Uh, those were reports carried by various news agencies, uh, including the AP. Uh, so far, we are also seeing other tensions across the region. Uh, in Saudi Arabia, the Houthis, who are allied with the Iranians, have uh, they said that they actually. Uh, hit a power station, uh, power plant in uh, in the south of Saudi Arabia with a cruise missile. Uh, Trump was briefed on the attack. Uh, on the attack, the Saudis have not yet uh, come out and uh, and said anything about it. And Zainab, what is the broader sentiment in the Gulf then, as these tensions between Iran and the U.S. Uh, build? There is certainly a sense of apprehension that uh, uh, attacks are coming after attacks. We had the May attacks on the tankers uh, in the Gulf. And then uh, earlier this month, we also had uh, uh, other attacks on two tankers that one of them uh, started a fire in the ship. Uh, yesterday, the U.S. Naval, uh, 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 Naval Central Command uh, investigators were in Fujairah, in where, where the first attacks happened, and they were briefing reporters on evidence so far they've collected from the Japanese-operated ship. Uh, so far, sentiment globally seems to have come to a conclusion, believing that Iran was definitely behind the, the attacks on the Japanese, uh, uh, Japanese ship uh, because of the, the different evidence. So we have the, the Germans, the Americans, and, uh, and so far the Brits saying that uh, basically they believe Iran might have been behind that attack.